Wheelchair Chuck Ball is the adaptation of the Chuck Ball game to wheelchair, a team sport with many similarities to handball, basketball and bas pelota. Born in Switzerland at the end of the 1960s, it started to be played in Italy at the beginning of the year 2000. Wheelchair Chuckball was born in Italy and is a totally Italian project. Seeing the good the project does, the International Federation has recognised its rules as official and has asked other nations to promote it. Chuckball, we can say, is a sport alternative to other, more maybe better known sports. Notwithstanding, being a team sport, it is a lot of fun to play. Many reasons pushed me into adopting chuck ball to the wheelchair matches. Primarily, what fascinated me about this sport, its dynamism and the pace of the sport. Peculiarities of the sport's discipline are the use of two specific elastic frames as goals, the absence of physical contact, the mixed game between men and women, the absence of designated halves and the possibility to attack equally on both frames. What do you need to play? To play wheelchair chuck ball you need a basketball court on the short size of which you mark the serve, one chuck ball area and then two semicircles, one which should be two metre radius which def defines the forbidden zone and the other are three metres which defines the attack stroke defence area, the two frames at the end of each area and one hand ball. The teams. The official rules say that each team should have seven players, that they should place themselves on the playing field divided in different roles depending on their position. Right and left wings, centre frame and then centre field. The game. The main objective is to score a point. To score a point is necessary to throw the ball against the net of the frame and let it fall on the floor outside of the three meter area within the playing field. The game begins with a throw from the end line. This happens at the beginning of the match or after the other team has scored a point. Each team has a maximum of three passes allowed before the end throw to finish the action. The first throw is considered as number zero and is not counted in the three. Each player can do a maximum of three pushes before passing the ball to a teammate or shooting against the frame and can maintain possession of the ball for a maximum of four seconds. When the player gives a push just to change direction or to stop the wheelchair, this, this is considered a zero push. When the ball is passed, it can bounce just once on the floor. So I've left both players' hands before the wheelchair wheels go into the forbidden two meter area. The defending team, to avoid the scoring of a point, has to catch the ball after it bounces on the frame. It is not conceded to interfere with the opposite team's action. 
la squadra in possesso di palla. The players can only anticipate the other team attacking by holding the defense line in such a way as to cover better all the areas of the court in which the ball could arrive after it has bounced on the frame. In the case of the defense, the match continues and the team that has defended can counter-attack even on the same frame. Since there can be no tactical fouls and no obstruction can be made, the game is therefore very fast-paced, quick and interesting. The fact that you can't interfere with the game of whoever has the ball allows the individual the maximum possible expression of his personal capabilities, avoiding tactics and the preponderance of the physical aspect over the athletic gesture. Fouls. A foul is assigned against the attacking team in the following cases. During the pass, the ball bounces more than once before being caught by a teammate. More than three passes are done before the end of the action. The player with the ball does more than three pushes or keeps the ball for more than four seconds. The player with the ball goes out of the court with all four wheels of the wheelchair or goes into the forbidden area before having thrown the ball. A foul against the defending team is given when the defending player blocks in some way the player of the opposite team during an action pass, throw towards the frame, catch or movement. After the throw against the frame of a teammate, he touches the ball before this has fallen, therefore nullifying the point. The player stops the defensive action of the opposite team. The possibility of playing an easily manageable ball, the frames positioned at the same height of the wheelchair and the absence of bounces during the match allows players, even with different physical capabilities, to play differently in all roles on the court. Or it differs from other sports by being more varied because it can be played by different categories of people with disabilities, being less physical, having fewer contrasts, but instead being more technical stroke tactical. It may seem difficult at the beginning to learn the rules, but once learned it is simple, fun and very engaging. To have the possibility of using either one frame or the other allows dynamism and fast pace in the game and represents, in my opinion, one of the most important characteristics of the game. Other rules of the game are as follows. You cannot do more than three consecutive shots on the same frame. This is the sum of the ones done by both teams. Foul or the scoring of a point brings the count of passes back to zero. If a player, after having defended counter-attacks without passing the ball at least once after the throw from the end line of the ball, has to necessarily pass the centre line, then this rule does not apply to fouls, after which players can always decide which side to attack. The point given or the faulty bounce. In wheelchair trick ball, it is possible to give away a point to the opposite team when the player with the ball either misses the frame with the ball, the ball after having bounced on the frame falls within the 3 meter area, the ball after having bounced on the frame goes out the playing field, the ball after having bounced on the frame hits the player who threw it. A faulty bounce ball, when after the throw on the frame, the ball doesn't hit the net, but the metal structure. In this case, the throw is considered null and void, so the ball possession passes to the other team from the spot where it hit the ground first. If the ball, after a faulty bounce, goes out of the playing field or within the three meter area, then the point is given to the opponent. The throw. The throws differ depending on the angle they make with the end line. These are baseline or zero degree, 30 degree, 45 degree, 
60 degree. Eighty degrees. The match. Because I wanted something new and I was attracted by a sport so different from all the others. At a wheelchair chookball match, there are three referees, two behind the frames and one central referee in centre field. A match is divided into three periods of 15 minutes each. The times are continuous and there are no timeouts unless the referee requests. The Sport Therapy Project. AUS Niguada is an association which coordinates the activities of sports therapy with the treatment of spinal injuries. AUS Niguada has partnerships with hospitals and the Paralympic Committee. We are also involved with the federation responsible for developing other disciplines for wheelchair users, one of which is wheelchair chookball. The sporting experience of wheelchair chookball was born at Niguada Hospital in Milan within the Spinal Injury Unit, initially as a sport therapy activity. I believe it to be one of the most prestigious projects we are taking forward and I foresee further development.